Hey guys, it's Crystal aka Queen BRZ back with another video for you. So today I am doing what I promised you all and I'm doing a Q&A video just on myself and um, based off of questions that of course you guys have asked me. So without further ado, let's get started. Alrighty guys, so today we're getting a little up close and personal. As you can see, you are in my room and you only get to see this little corner because <laughs> I don't want to show anything else. It's too messy. But um, let's get started on the questions that you guys have asked. Um, so the first one, what got you into cars? Um, what got me into cars was actually uh, my boyfriend. <laughs> He <clears throat> introduced me to a lot of his friends, and after we had been dating for a long time, his friends became my friends. I would start going to car meets um, and just learning a lot about the car scene and what it was, uh, meeting other girls and talking to them, and um, that's basically how it went. We started going to um, like STI, WRX kind of meets, um, and then... It slowly, I slowly started developing a liking for um, the eight sixes, and that's when one of his friends mentioned to me that maybe I should try going to an eight six two six meet, which was a meet that was held every Thursday and that he frequented. So I was like, you know what? Like, let's give it a shot. I want to go there, and I really like the look of this car. Like, I just want to meet more people and um, see what their cars look like. So, um, started going to these 8626 meets every Thursday and freaking loved it. Met so many people, um, just really made a lot of nice friends and learned more about, um, the whole uh, Toyota 86 FRSs, BRZs, got to look inside people's cars and just learn about what they like to do to them and take them to the track, blah, blah, blah. So, um, I just really fell in love with that whole community and then two years later I ended up getting um, the BRZ so all to myself um, a lot of people ask why the BRZ over any of the other eight sixes um, personally I just really like Subaru um, I just think they're a really good and reliable company and I really liked how they took care of my boyfriend and they would always be sending him um, little gifts here and there and just being really sweet and they have these Subaru ambassadors and they they leave notes on my car oh my gosh that was my dad they leave notes on my car and just like leave me little gifts here and there I just love the whole family vibe um, I love when I see other Subarus on the road I can just flash little peace signs and they flash them back and it just seems very like family and just like a community and I really am into that um, so that's why and I heard the quality is a little bit better with um, Subarus, but I don't know I could be mistaken um, So next question. What was your first car? I had a Toyota matrix and It was a car that I had bought for my dad um, Yes, I bought it. <laughs> I saved up all my money and I really wanted I'm very big on like doing things myself and trying to be as independent as possible um, hence to all my car videos um, obviously I was pretty new I'm still pretty new to the car scene but I just love to learn and a lot of the installs that I do I um, learned right before I did them and I learned from YouTube um, just other um, YouTube people um, vloggers and just tutorials I follow them and then I do my own spin on them so um, that just goes to show with the right tools and the right mindset, um, anything is possible. But that was my first car, was my uh, Matrix, and I loved it. It was in okay condition. It was a 2005, um, and that was just my baby. So it got me through high school um, until I got my BRZ. So what have I done to my car? Well... 
I would go into a lot more detail, but I really want you guys to watch my other videos as well, um, especially um, for those who are new to the channel. Um, I do have a whole list of things that I've done, but just a few things. I've done a lot of suspension work. Um, right now, I'm on coilovers. I've done like end links. I've done toe arms. I've done, um, oh, did I say like, lower control arms? Uh, shifter bushing and then of course some cosmetic things so um, all that is featured in my videos and I encourage you all to check it out and give me some more views I'd really appreciate it and of course thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you like the videos um, let's see what do you plan on doing to your car so with this question I mean I've already done a lot to my car um, and then in my last video, I kind of expressed how I don't really want to do too many more mods um, to my car. Of course, there's always something that I'd like to do, but I think right now my next modification is just focusing on myself and developing my driving skills. Um, I went to Chukwala for my first track day, um, and that was really, really fun. Um, I had a great time, and of course, like I learned a lot. Um, but I really just want to develop myself as a driver and get better so I can compete with the group I fell like three minutes behind the group so came in last place every time I was out doing a session But it's okay. It was my first time as a learning experience. I was really nervous um, if you guys want a video um, going into detail of how I prepared for that day um, Let me know and I'll go ahead and do one for you um, a, a lot of preparation went into it and um, I know there are still a few modifications that I want to do performance wise like um, brake pads and an oil cooler um, just for maintenance on my car I want it to last a long time and of course keep it in as best condition as possible so um, those are probably the three things that I want to do next to my BRZ well one is my modification helping myself and making myself better and then oil cooler and brake pads. I already have Brembo brakes and they are amazing and they really came in clutch on the track so we're all good there. I just need some good high performance brake pads. Um, let's see. Where am I from? I'm from Southern California. Um, yeah, from Southern California. <laughs> I don't want any creepy people to come stalk me if I reveal what city I'm from but of course, if you follow my page, you can kind of get an idea of the general area. Um, a lot of the meets that I go to, so yes, you can see there. But no creepy soccer people, please. <laughs> um, let's see. Will I host any meets? I think I'll host meets when I feel like I'll get a good turnout. I mean, I've gotten a pretty good following now, I think. Um, a lot of people follow me, and I have a lot of fans, and... Definitely a lot of people that would like to meet me, and I'd love to meet you too. Um, but I don't know. I feel like if I like hosted a car meet, three people would show up. So I don't know. We'll see. Maybe eventually. I never want to say never because I'm always down for anything. But maybe for now, you'll just catch me at an 8626 meet. Um, I still try to go every so often. It's just so hard because I work and I go to school. And I also... I'm a singer and I perform quite often, um, casinos, parties, everything, so I just like to keep really busy, so it's really hard sometimes to even find time to film a video, but you might catch me at 8626meet, you can follow their Instagram page, and they meet every Thursday at around 8 o'clock, and they're really cool, and I love the people, very well maintained as well, you don't get a lot of jerks revving their engine, and if you do, then... Uh, I know the leaders of that personally call the cops and kick you out so <laughs> they're really really awesome people I love them okay so next question um, how do you have so many sponsors honestly I don't have any sponsors um, I do have a lot of friends who help me out and they give me a lot of advice and who are just really supportive of what I do so um, their guidance is really what they provide me with. Um, those people are like Race Comp Engineering, all the guys from there, super supportive and they love what I do. Um, we have like Drambini, 
the little spoilerizers that I have. Um, they're just always super nice and super supportive and they really love what I'm doing and how, of course, I'm a female and I'm kind of inspiring other females in the car community to um, go for it if they were ever thinking of being involved in the car community. So um, that's really all I have. Everything that I have, I pretty much buy it. Um, but yeah, it gets really expensive. <laughs> it's horrible, guys. Ugh. Yeah, so anyway. That's, that's it. Don't really have many sponsors. I, I get a lot of people reaching out to me and saying, oh, like, we'd like to sponsor you. Um, but all you have to do is buy all this stuff and then you get like 10% of blah, blah, blah. I'm like, what? That's not even a sponsor. That's like me paying you to, for me to call you my sponsor. I don't know. It just doesn't make any sense. So I don't, I'm not into all that. Um, yeah, not into it. Anyway, next question. So, are you shooting for a race car or a show car? Um, I would say definitely race car. Um, my next thing that I want to start working on, um, of course, are my driving skills so that I can get better at like track days and doing autocross and stuff like that. So, um, performance, all for performance. Um, will you ever wide body your car? That's a tough one. I really like the look of wide bodies. I know it's like you either love it or you hate it, but I really like the look. I just don't think I could do it to my car. I, It's a very permanent move and you have to really just love the look. I think maybe if I were ever, <laughs> this is kind of sad, I think if maybe if I were ever to like ruin my car in an accident, maybe somebody hits me, or I don't know, it just, there was like no going back at that point, then maybe I would be more open to it, but as of now, I, I like my car the way that it is, um, and I'm, I just like to admire other people's wide bodies, and wish that I had it, but not too much, <laughs> so yeah, that's my answer for that, okay, next question, will you marry me? Only if you bend the knee. Game of Thrones. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, next question. Um, are you planning on boosting the BRZ? Honestly, I don't know. I really wanted a turbo because I love this blow off valve, like the whole sound that it makes. And then. Everyone's like, no, if you're going to do it, go supercharger. And honestly, after going to the track and everything, I decided that I don't need it. Um, it's not going to help me anymore on the track, I don't think. Um, just my skill level and learning how to um, take the corners and follow the line and blah, blah, blah. I feel like that's really where my speed is going to come from, and I don't need that extra power. I mean, of course, the extra power is so much fun and so great, but honestly, for my wallet, like, my wallet's going to murder me if I try to do any more big moves like that. So, um, probably not, um, at least not for right now, but you never know. I could change my mind in the future. Um, would you ever consider doing a muscle car build? Well, who's willing to give me their muscle car is my question. And then I'll do it. <laughs> Never opposed to it. It's just I have so many cars right now that it's hard to keep in the driveway. Um, next question. How do I know when track days and meets are happening? So, honestly, I find out when people are asking me if I'm going to the meets. Um, that's typically how I find out. The only things that I really attend um, or that I know of are 8626 meets just because that's how my whole car interest started which by the way they guys they do have an Instagram if you want to follow them I mentioned it already they meet every Thursday at around 8 and they don't tolerate any mischievous behavior um, but those are happening if you want to go to a meet um, I know like <laughs> the 86 day meets happen um, those are pretty cool. They usually have them at like 8-6 cafes. Um, so that basically happens on the date 8-6. And then you just look for whenever that's happening. 
Um, as far as like track day events, um, I like to go to the Fontana Speedway and uh, they have, um, you can look up speed ventures and they have like a whole list of dates and events on there and you can just see what's going on. Um, the 8-6 cup is another really popular event. Of course, it focuses on 86s, um, so cars like mine, but they're open to anything. I mean, there were so many different cars there and no one's judging or discriminating. Um, it's just really a really cool environment and you're meeting a lot of really nice people who are always willing to help you um, and guide you, especially if it's your first experience, which is where I was when I went to 86 Cup and I was really grateful to be with just such awesome people like Philip and Mike and just people who really um, were supportive and they understood that the first time is always the scariest I guess but um, it was cool because even though everybody technically is competing for times it didn't feel like a competition it just felt like a bunch of friends getting together and having a good time which is all that we did um, so yeah, that's how you know, and, um, the 86 Cup also has a Facebook page that I know of, so you can go ahead and follow them there, and I'm sure they'll keep you posted on any more track days that they're going to be having, but they are so far away, Chuckwalla, it's past Indio, past Coachella, past everything, it's like in the middle of nowhere, so you have to get up at the butt crack of dawn just to get there, which is not fun, but... The track day is fun. Um, so next question, what do you think about BMWs? I think they're expensive. And I think that sometimes the people that own them are assholes, but I don't know, not all of them. Um, no, but I think they're really nice cars. I like them a lot. If I could have one, I would. <laughs> yeah, not opposed to any cars. Um, Carne asada or al pastor? I said that like such a white girl. I don't, my Mexican accent is not cute. Um, oh my gosh. I don't even know. Both are so good. But I'm kind of feeling the al pastor. So yeah. To answer that question. Next question. Who do you idolize and why? So... When I really think about it, there's only one person that comes to mind. There are a few pages that come to mind um, that feature just a lot of girls like Stick Chicks and Miss Manual. Um, and I really like how they're just super supportive um, of a lot of females in the car community. But one girl um, is probably Mini Truck Mommy. Uh, her name's Peyton and I believe she's located in SoCal. Um, but she is just so cool and I really admire her because she's not afraid to be different um, if anybody does follow her or they want to look her up she is a trip she's so cool and she's so knowledgeable about cars she actually went to school for mechanics so she like not only is sexy and has like a beautiful butt <laughs> and like super edgy but she knows what she's doing and I just really admire how she doesn't care what anybody thinks. She just does what she wants. And another thing that I really admire is how just open and cool she is um, with myself and with other girls that are like her in the car community. It's really sad um, that there are a lot of guys who just feel like they always have to tell me or any girls anything as if we don't know. And a lot of times I don't know, but I find out in other ways. I just, I really don't like how people just have to, well, you should this and this. Like, like you have to tell me something. It just pisses me off and they're just not supportive or they think like, oh, because I'm a girl, I can't do anything. And that's so wrong on so many levels. But the worst is when girls aren't supportive of each other. And especially like in the female side of the car community, you get a good majority um, of girls who really don't support each other and they're just rude and they leave like nasty comments sometimes like you don't know what you're doing like ew oh my gosh like this is a joke blah 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 like as if they really know what's going on it's just so so sad and Peyton is just really really nice 
really awesome, super supportive. She's always commenting on my posts, um, telling me how great I am, and I'm like, damn, that really takes a lot for like someone to appreciate, or a female to appreciate another female. So I really like her, and I think she's awesome. And Peyton, if you're watching this, you are so cool, and I hope to meet you someday. Maybe we can do a little collab. Um, okay, so next question. When are you going to host a car meet? Did I already ask this? Yeah, okay, someone else already asked that. Um, next question. If I don't like Subarus but think you're gorgeous, can we still be cool? Will you bend the knee? And then we can be cool. Yeah, we can be cool, I guess. Now, I don't know, man. I have a Subaru. You have to like Subarus at least a little bit. Anyway, next question. When are you getting a real AE86? So a Hachiroku, I will get one when someone is willing to sell it to me. So if anybody knows <laughs> someone who's selling um, at a reasonable price because they're so expensive and so rare now, let me know and I will be so happy with it and I will take very good care with it. Um, next question, actually this is probably the last one I know I've been answering a lot of questions. Um, would you choose between a Miata with a Supra engine or a Supra with a Miata engine? I think that's pretty self-explanatory. I'd probably do a Supra with a Mi- oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, a Miata with a Supra engine for the power. Miata's really light, so that's probably what I'd do. Miata with a Supra engine, but, um, Anyway, guys, gosh, so many questions were asked, and I'm so grateful that people really want to know a lot, and they have a lot of cute questions, um, but that's all I have time for today. I think this video is super duper long, but you know what? It's okay. If you tune in this long, then props to you, and you are my favorite, so thanks, guys. That I hope that answered a lot of your questions, and I really appreciate you watching, especially if you stuck it out for this long. Um, and I hope to see all of your views in my next video and your comments as well. So, of course, like I say all the time, if you like this video, like it down below and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And yeah, we'll wait and see what I do next. So, until next time, guys, Queen BRZ out. I fall in love too easily. I'd fall in love too fast